Hi, I'm Colin. Welcome to Learn Somatics. In today's video, I'm going to show you another simple movement. This time to free up the shoulder, the ribs, the waist, and even somewhat into the neck. But predominantly, this is going to help free up your shoulders. So the working position for this movement is knees bent, feet flat, uh, non-working arm on the ribs, and the working arm just resting on the floor by the side, palms down. And all I want you to do from here is just begin to slide your hand and arm in the direction that your hand is, uh, your arm is pointing. So sort of down and away. And as you're doing that, just notice what you feel in the ribs on this side. You'll feel them contract. And then slowly relax back to rest. And we're just going to repeat that a couple of times. Sliding the hands away. Feeling the contraction in the ribs. Feeling the depression of the shoulder down tension in the back and front of the shoulder and then slowly relaxing back to rest and as you do this you'll notice that your head tends to get drawn towards the side you reach down the left in this case that's fine just let your head turn and then slowly come back to rest and repeat again sliding the hand down and see if you can intentionally tighten your ribs to help you pull the arm down and intentionally draw your armpit down. And each of those little actions will help you reach, slide your hand a little further each time. And you may even notice as you slide the hand down that your hip starts to get drawn up ever so slightly towards your armpit as well. Back to rest. And just do that one more time, sliding the hand down. Feel the tension down the side in the uh, muscles that make up the armpits or the chest and the lat at the back and then slowly relaxing back to rest. Okay, so that's very straightforward. Let's just lie back and see how that feels. And once you've done that, you should get a sense of having a bit more softness in the side that you've been working and that shoulder should be starting to feel a bit more open. Okay, so let's add a little something to this. Um, so same working position, hand on the ribs, arm resting on the floor. And we're gonna add a little bit of an arch to the movement. So we're gonna arch our low back a little, press the tail down and create a little bridge under our back. And keeping the arch, now we're gonna slide the hand down again. And you're gonna feel how this makes it a little more go into the back of the shoulder. So now we're getting the side, the back and the shoulder and then slowly relax to rest. Arching first, sliding the hand down, slowly release. Everything's the same, we've just added that arch. And by adding the arch, when we slide the arm down, we'll tend to favor the back of the shoulder to draw the arm down. So it gets a little bit more into the back and the side than previously. Again, arching, sliding the arm down, feeling the tension in the ribs and in the back and in the, under the armpit. And then slowly relaxing. And just do one more time like that, arching, sliding the hand down, head turns to look to this side and then slowly releasing. Okay. And again, just check in with that. And see how that feels. So by adding the arch I can now feel I've had more release, more obvious release through the back of my shoulder and around the shoulder blade. So just by adding that simple little modification we can get a little bit more out of that movement, add a little something to it. Now uh, there's one more thing we can do to uh, make that movement more useful and it's the opposite of what we just done. So now instead of arching we're going to flatten our back down a little bit, so pressing our low back into the floor, that engages our belly, and it brings us a little bit into flexion of the spine, just a tiny bit. So by pressing down with the back, again you can have the hands on the ribs, and same thing, we're just going to slide the hand down, and now I feel it a bit more in my chest. Still feel it in the back, but it, by flattening the back as I slide the hand down, it brings it a little round to the front, and then slowly back to rest. And just repeat that again, flatten the back, slide the hand down, head will turn, you might find your head kind of tips back now, 
instead of looking down towards the hand. That's fine. Slowly relax to rest. And again, flatten. So reaching down with the arm, feeling quite a strong contraction here in your trunk as well as in the arm. So to slide that hand down involves our trunk and then slowly relax. And let's just do that two more times. And again, make sure you're, you're breathing all the way through this and not holding your breath. Flattening your back, sliding the hand down. And then slowly back to rest. And let's just do one last repetition of flattening the back, sliding the hand down and away. Really feeling that tension that's generated all the way through the side of this, this side of the body, underneath the armpit, down the waist, ribs, belly, and then back to rest. Okay, now lay it flat and just take a moment to compare the two sides. If you've done that slowly and carefully, you should be able to feel quite a marked difference actually between the two shoulders and the two sides of the trunk. More space on this side we've been working with, shoulders should feel more rested, more on the floor, and just generally more open and comfortable. So that's a nice easy movement you can do to free up the shoulders, particularly the uh, muscles underneath the armpit, let's say. So if your arms feel like they're pulled down onto your trunk, this is really gonna to help to free that up. Play the video back, repeat that on the other side, and you can have both shoulders nice and even. So give that movement a try, let me know how you get on. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me with the algorithm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.